Forgive me, uh, it's about uh, bedtime, I'm tired. Now, uh, when it comes to my understanding that people are having problems with the 150 watt inverter unit, <coughs> I wanted to uh, point out a couple of things just in case if you're having the issue. I am not having an issue with this whatsoever. Uh, this thing is working perfectly for me and we use it every day constantly uh not constantly but we use it every day to charge up our stuff and so uh because uh, first i wanted to point out this it's not 100 percent solid in there to where every single component is uh secured in its place there's a little little bit of rattling in there and so uh so because of that if you I would assume if you drop this, you would actually dislodge some of those components and it will mess up. Uh, you know, the same thing with the phone. You know, that's why we have the, everyone has a phone case because if everyone knows if we drop this phone, uh, it's gonna crack. Even though this costs about eight to 10 times more than this does, we treat this delicately because of what it would cost to replace it. Treat it, treat this the same way. Don't treat this like uh, like you could like you could a drill or a vacuum or a sander. This is a little bit more sensitive than the rest of than the rest of the tools. Is this overpriced? Majorly. Uh, this realistically should have been the thirty to forty dollar unit, but uh, it's eighty nine dollars. Now, $89 would be a good price if it comes with a battery and a charger, but it's for the unit itself. So this is already majorly overpriced. Uh, but a couple of things that I other couple of other things I wanted to point out is this gets this unit will get warm just by having this on. And so what they should have done was us. Uh, an automatic turn off feature let's say there's nothing plugged in or the light isn't on it should turn itself off because I left this uh, I uh, unplugged my phone and I left this on for a little bit and it got a little warm then I'm like oop I forgot to turn it off so I so I turned I pushed the power button and turned it off so this will act like it's charging something if this is on so it's a uh, it's a feature that they should have added to this an automatic shut off feature. So make sure you turn this off if you're not using it. So uh, this investment needs to be maintained. You know the the uh so uh when it and when it comes to the USB ports and the plug-in, uh make sure that you don't plug anything in that isn't uh, that isn't any more than 150 watts. Uh, even if you use a hair dryer for a minute, it you will. F I, I did not do this test yet because I do not want to risk the unit. Uh, if it actually runs anything that you're you're able to plug in here and it's uh, exceedingly over the maximum uh, wattage, you could ruin this device very fast. And so, uh, and so, yes, the main thing that, I, but the main thing that I think it should, people should uh, be careful for is dropping it. Uh, and so, because I think that would loosen the components up and then it would make stuff not operate. And oh, oh, make sure you don't overheat the, the unit. I honestly believe that a four amp hour battery should be the max battery you should use on this. I don't think you should use a six amp hour or a nine amp hour. I think that, that uh, it's too much power that the unit can handle. A 1.5 amp hour, uh, it's, uh, it'll uh, run a saw in less time than a four amp hour would, but at the same time, this will produce less power to the saw to where it won't even be able to uh, fully make a cut on its first uh, first try with a fresh battery. So the more amp hours you have, the more power you're putting towards the device of any kind at once. 
So it that, uh, so I think a six amp hour battery and a nine amp hour battery is too much for this to handle. So I recommend only use a four amp hour battery. It is a shame to see that people are uh, their units are breaking on them because of what the price is. And so I wanted to make this video for you guys just to, to have a little bit of guidelines to how to properly maintain this so it doesn't break on you. People get excited when they see that plug. They get to they test out what they could put in there. Uh, I do, I love this unit. Uh, and because I'm, uh, I'm taking care of it, making sure I don't drop it, making sure that I don't uh, uh, have any accidents with it, like rattling it too much or uh, or dropping stuff on it. It's la it's it's still lasting me. Uh, it's still is capable of operating. But uh, but yes, uh, just to show you guys, I did the unboxing and I use this every day. It still works. What I think is bad, if you're running like a six amp hour battery and you're charging two uh, devices and a laptop at once, then your unit will not uh, perform the way it's supposed to and then it'll eventually die. Now, yes, we, we see the three units so we get to do three things at once, but realistically, it's th this thing probably can't do that. It's not, it's not a generator. Another thing I do recommend is if you're either use one or the other, you can use the two USBs at the same time or use the, the, the plug by itself. I do not recommend using all three at once. You have the option to use the plug-in, but I don't, I seriously don't recommend you use all three, uh, inputs at once it's just too much for this device to handle because remember it's an invert it's a 18 volt inverter you know if you if you take your 12 volt battery and you try to start up four to five cars on that one battery the battery is not gonna last that long and so just to, and just like your phone uh, treat it just like your phone because you don't want to drop this you don't want your screen cracked or you don't want it ruined and then you have to replace it uh, treat this with care. Treat this unit with care because uh, it is sensitive. I, I'm gonna. I have a feeling that this unit is very sensitive because of that. That USB is hard. Is hard to master because even uh, I had a wall outlets with USBs on it. Uh, with USB imports on it, and uh, though those outlets failed because of those USB ports. And so, but they don't fail on my computer, you know, they, they, they never fail on a computer because the computer is designed for that. This, the, US, uh, the USB ports is hard to master. Computers are the only ones that I know that mastered it or a wall unit that you plug it directly to the outlet that comes with your phone, that comes with your phone. You know, but like this is, you know, an alternate source of power, so like I said, just treat this thing with care. Don't, please do not overwork your unit because it most, most likely will fail. Uh, is this worth buying? Uh, at the, to me, yes. Yes, but you know, like, uh, please take care of your unit. So I, I just, like I said, this was brought to my attention. I just wanted to talk about this for a little bit tonight. Uh, and yes, so I hope this uh, video was informational for you. Uh, if it's gonna guide you through uh, or purchasing one or not purchasing one, and if you already have one, what how uh, what to do and how to use it. So uh, so yeah, this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.